live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Sarah Murphy. Thanks for joining us for ABC4 News at 5. We begin tonight out of Lehigh, where video shows police officers with guns drawn on the side of Timpanogos near I-15. All right, you're seeing here, police arrest a man in this incident for allegedly shooting at a car, all in an act of road rage, they say. ABC4's Annika Johns has a video of the incident she was able to get today, and she joins us live from Lehigh. After speaking with police and people in that area, Annika, what are you learning? So Jeremy Jensen says that August 30th was a normal work day until he looked out his building's window and saw cops with their guns drawn to a man on the side of the road. Without a second thought, he pulled out his camera and started filming what was happening. Walking slowly backwards with his hands up. Really today. New video of a Lehigh police standoff from late August has surfaced, showing police with their firearms drawn, arresting a man on Timpanogos Highway. I met with the individual who recorded the video about what he says happened. Me and my team were just working, doing our thing, and we, I looked out the window and saw a bunch of cars, and I was like, wow, there's a lot of traffic out there, and then I realized they're cop cars, and then looked a little bit closer. I zoomed in on my phone, and I saw they had their guns drawn. From documents obtained by ABC4, Lehigh police say that on August 30th, their officers responded to a call of a weapons offense near Thanksgiving Point. When they arrived, a victim, whose identity is unknown, stated that they had just been shot at by a man in a white vehicle while driving. Police say they found a single bullet hole in the driver's side of the victim's vehicle. The victim says that there was no road rage or anything done to the driver that would have prompted him to open fire. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I've, you know, seen road rage all over. I think we all know it can be a problem, but especially where this didn't happen in that situation, which makes it even more surprising and worrisome, I guess. Police later tracked the shooter, now identified as Jose Ahumada, to an apartment complex in the area. They then followed Ahumada and performed a high-risk stop on the vehicle, taking him into custody. Jensen says that he's never seen something like this happen, and while things could have ended a lot worse, it was exciting to watch. Because we didn't, we didn't see the initial beginning part, so we just saw it like guns drawn and then him like backing out of the car and sort of, dang, like it's got to be some bad bad dude or something, you know, to have like six plus cops with their guns out. And I think I counted like 12 cop cars. So it was just like a whole situation where like, what's going on here in Lehigh? The affidavit of the incident continued saying that a firearm was located inside of the vehicle. Now it also stated that Ahumada, what, oh, excuse me, did serve time in the Oregon State Prison for attempted murder, which makes it illegal for him to possess a firearm. Reporting live from Lehigh, Annika Johns, ABC4 News. All right.